dining in hell at the devil's right hand, the day after a terror attack. The western world is crying today as the ambulances reveal themselves along the high street. The police are overwhelmed, mostly emotional, standing at the station as the trains run on time to take commuters to work. The newspapers are blackboarded obituaries and somehow I know this will still be relevant. It's starting to feel like nowhere's safe, which is what they want, whoever they are. Meanwhile, the same desperate seconds are shown again and again and again while experts talk about whatever they talk about. Life goes on, of course, but not for everyone. As for me, I'll hide inside and write words that won't make any difference. But at least I feel I've made some sense of it all. People are evil and that's all there is to it. No wonder I'd rather live with animals. Snatches of Dreams Cracks in the pavement light up with fire as the carrion crows fly down the high street. On an island, a nuclear warhead is lowered peacefully into the sea. A man with no eyes sees the future, but with no frame of reference he mistakes it for the past and fails to mention it. Two zombie prostitutes rise up from their unmarked graves and find themselves at an M6 service station. Something explodes in the sky, a firework perhaps, and then the sun winks out and gravity forgets it has its hold on us. The lead singer of an obscure indie rock band wanks himself to death with a belt around his neck and his wife tells the press it was a suicide. Four days later, their album hits number three. Music is identified as a unique aphrodisiac and all the machines in the world spontaneously develop feelings and try to kill us all. You died and woke up and you died again. Nobody came to the funeral. Short and sweet. Short and sweet and nice and easy. A letter to myself from my future self. Dear Dane, I'm very disappointed. You were once a promising young writer and people thought you might be onto something. I don't know what it is, kid. You do most things right, but not everything. And some people relate to your strange take on the world, while others see through the illusion. You're just a man with a pen and a notebook, and you might work hard and you might have talent, but nothing means shit unless you execute. Stop smoking. Spend more time with friends and family. Worry less. Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't when you're on your deathbed. Where the hell do you think I am now? Flash! Ah, it's like dipping your toe into the ocean. Short shorts that are shorter than short, but my friend, they pack a punch like they're shipping boxing gloves. They'll hit you on the chin just like an uppercut. People love people. People love people and they love to talk to and about each other. We're mostly social, occasionally obnoxious, often toxic soldiers boldly rolling boulders to see if any moss gathers. We might not live long enough to find out. We're so social, we send out signals to extraterrestrials, which is surely suicidal if they find us. If intelligent life is out there, which is doubtful but not impossible, it might not like its new neighbours. But still, there's optimism, there's love. There's the hope for a future we can all belong to, and not just some plot from some second-hand sci-fi novel. There's everything and nothing and it waits for you. Vino Venitas I read because the pages of the books I touch touch me and their ink bleeds and leaves an imprint so when I can't get out of bed and it's raining outside there's a place in my head I can escape to. The world we see is one reality and the books we read are another and the people we meet in between are on the other side of a computer screen like me. I write because the night is dark and unrelentless and we live the life of the mayfly one day at a time. If we can touch the world, then we should touch the world and let it touch us. And I write because the thoughts in my head must go somewhere, so why not share them here? I read because the books I have could fill a house, as they often do. And I'm so surrounded by words that every friend I have has a book out. And I read their work in case they touch a nerve and they start their own revolution. Listen, writing is hard and it leaves a scar. So when your friends write a book over 18 months, the least you can do is check it out. I write for the same reason people masturbate and chow down on calories until they put on weight and can't shake it off. I write because there's an itch to scratch and the marks my pen makes on the pages of my notebook will last longer than my body ever will. And like Benjamin Franklin said, if you want to be remembered, you need to write something worth reading or do something worth writing about. So I settled for a drawer and decided to do both. I read because I read, so leave me to read in peace. Who am I? I'm young and I'm old, I'm hot and cold and bought and sold, a square peg in a round hole and a tennis ball in a football goal. I'm thick and I'm thin, inside out and outside in, I'm the love you hate and a free world fate, I'm on time when I'm late and I failed at greatness. 
I'm the nicest hooligan, a law-abiding criminal, buy more books, subliminal, maximize minimal, dual brilliance and disowned inheritance, a pain-free penance. I'm the living dead, the unfriendly friend with the rigid bends, the women who are men and the future history painters write about. I'm the madman's clarity and the unfunny hilarity taking money from charities. I'm the hope against hope, the knotted rope on the sinking boat, the weight that floats through the tangible smoke, the PepsiCo Coke and the picture you wrote in the homeless hotel. I'm right and I'm wrong and I silence the songs. I'm the dehydrated rain and disconnected brains, the anonymous fame and the pride and shame, the wild and the tame with a nameless name. The sun goes down on Despera. Finding the time isn't easy and the talent goes to hide at the bottom of a well with the rats and the skeletons. We will all turn to chalk and be crushed at the centre of a hundred suns and I lie awake at night full of fear and convinced I'm going to die soon. Well, I probably will do. On the plus side, I have free will and I can press my foot to the accelerator until the car rolls off the street into the sea. It's stressful, so stressful. Sometimes it's not worth the effort. I give up. We all should. We're all just specks of dust in the darkness as the sun goes down on Despera. Bang. A beautiful line or two split up, two to three words per line and then a semicolon. The refrain from a popular song, Yes, yeah, she loves you, and then a sudden, inexplicable sensation. Love. Love with a capital L and an exclamation mark. A new stanza, three lines long. Then the ideas die and all that's left is the slow descent into madness. And of course, the one-liner, because you'd rather go out with a bang than with a whimper. Bang. Keep your identity secret. Keep your identity secret like a superhero, except your superpower is a rudimentary understanding of the blockchain and you can cook a toasty by turning a toaster sideways. Rip off your shirt in the middle of Primark to reveal your secret uniform. It's a Primark uniform. Your superpower is your staff discount. When the mayor calls, you can ignore him. It's an unrecognised number and he'll leave a message if it's that important. Look at me. I'm social anxiety man. Watch as I refuse to make plans and identify with animals more than people. Receive a grant from the Prince's Trust and become a magician like Dynamo. Fight crime by not buying drugs from your drug dealer. Drink wine and become Grape Woman. Give a little money to charity. Preserve the penguins. You do you, you are my hero, you who moves when you don't have to. Keep your identity secret. Help us, you're our only hope. The Cat's Birthday Today is the Cat's Birthday and I don't know about you but I don't think it's strange to help him celebrate. I know I'd like him to celebrate me. It's also Halloween which kind of makes sense. I mean he's a big black cat called Biggie and he appears like a ghost when I get complacent. I always knew I'd be a cat man. I'm a dog man too, I just don't have one. Still, I'm a little like Lynn Truss because trust me, I can make the cat laugh. He'd do anything for a treat, but so would anyone. Happy birthday, cat. It's time to unwrap your presents. Chemtrails in the sky. Chemtrails in the sky blazing their way from one country to another on the back of a commercial aeroplane. Of course, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in it. Most conspiracy theories are brought about through a lack of knowledge, which is why I try to educate myself. Perhaps those chemtrails are just water molecules or the clouds as they're parted by nose cones. I don't know man, I don't believe in what you believe in. But that's fine, that's good, we are diverse. Wouldn't life be boring if we weren't?